perinatal mental health conditions such as anxiety, perinatal depression, and birth-related post-traumatic stress disorder are common complications of pregnancy, childbirth, and the postpartum period. These mental health conditions might affect both maternal and infant health. Competent, respectful, and supportive care is required to identify and help women who suffer from mental health conditions. The perinatal period is defined here as the duration of the pregnancy and the first 12 months postpartum. Perinatal mental health conditions are caused by a combination of changes in biology, psychology, and environment. More than 20% of women develop a mental health condition during the perinatal period. Up to 50% of women living in poverty will experience a perinatal mental health condition. Partners can also experience mental health conditions in the perinatal period. One in 10 partners will experience postpartum depression or anxiety. Suicide is sadly sometimes the consequence of perinatal mental health conditions when untreated. Risk factors. If a woman or any of her family members have suffered from a mental health condition before, it increases the risk of developing a mental health condition in the perinatal period. Other risk factors include domestic or gender-based violence, unintended pregnancy, women in conflict areas, poverty, lack of practical support, financial resources, and access to quality health care, previous stillbirth, repeated miscarriage, and traumatic births. See Action Card for more information. Barriers to seeking care. Feelings of shame, guilt, embarrassment, and fear of stigmatization and judgment about asking for help are commonly reported reasons for not disclosing a history of mental health conditions. Most women experiencing mental health conditions will need the support of family, friends, and health professionals. The provision of perinatal mental health care often requires collaboration between health professionals. Midwives and nurses are often the first contact that women will have in a health system to offer safe, non-judgmental, and empathetic care for women who disclose a history of perinatal mental health symptoms. Diagnosis Symptoms The most common perinatal mental health conditions are perinatal depression, perinatal anxiety disorders, bipolar disorder, postpartum psychosis, substance abuse disorder. Note that women may have combined conditions. Anxiety and depression are often seen together. See Action Card for more information. Some of the common symptoms of poor mental health include feeling sad, crying easily or more than usual, having no pleasure or interest in activities that were once enjoyed, feeling panicky, anxious, or irritable or angry with those around you, feelings of guilt and hopelessness, feeling as if you're out of control, eating and or sleeping more or less, feeling like you never should have become a mother and difficulties bonding with the baby, worrying that you might hurt your baby or yourself, nonspecific body aches and pains. See Action Card for more information. Postpartum hormonal changes can have an impact on the mood for many women. Emotional sensitivity, weepiness, poor sleep, lack of appetite, and or feeling overwhelmed is a normal state called baby blues. It's important to exclude this when suspecting mental health conditions such as postpartum depression. Baby blues occur within the first two to three weeks after delivery and is recorded in up to 85% of new mothers. Baby blues result from physical and emotional adjustments to new motherhood. They are self-limiting and usually resolve within several days. Advise the woman to seek care if symptoms persist or worsen, as they may be a sign of postpartum depression. 
it's important to recognize that women who have a mental health condition may be unwilling to discuss their problem because of fear of stigma, negative perceptions of them as a mother, or fear that their baby might be taken into care, reluctant to engage in treatment because of avoidance associated with their mental health condition. Screening It's recommended to screen all women for perinatal mental health conditions using evidence-based tools. Where possible, select a tool that's been developed, adapted, translated, and tested in the local setting. At a woman's first contact in pregnancy and in the early postnatal period, consider asking depression identification questions as part of a general discussion about a woman's mental health and well-being. Also consider asking about anxiety using the two-item Generalized Anxiety Disorder Scale, GAD-2. See Practical Procedure. If a woman is identified as being at risk of developing a mental health condition or there's a clinical concern, consider using the GAD-7 scale or the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale. See Practical Procedure. Or Refer the woman to specialist care, if available. At a woman's first contact with services in pregnancy and the postnatal period, ask about any past or present mental illness, past or present treatment by a specialist mental health service, including inpatient care, any severe perinatal mental illness in a first-degree relative, mother, sister, or daughter. In relevant settings, such as refugee camps, ask about trauma. Refer all women who have or are suspected to have severe mental illness, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, PTSD, and major depression, or any history of severe mental illness during pregnancy or the postnatal period or at any other time to specialist care for assessment and treatment. If a woman has any past or present severe mental illness, or there's a family history of severe perinatal mental illness in a first-degree relative, be alert for possible symptoms of postpartum psychosis in the first two weeks after birth. Prevention and Treatment Quality antenatal care is essential for protecting women's health and preventing perinatal mental health conditions. Health workers' attitudes and behaviors are of fundamental importance to promoting mental health. It's vital that a comprehensive mental health assessment is conducted early in the pregnancy that includes respectful maternity care and trauma-informed care. Women experiencing perinatal mental health conditions require empathetic, respectful maternity care to reduce the risk of stigma and to create trusting relationships between the women and maternity care providers. All women who present with perinatal mental health conditions should be counseled by maternity care professionals offering Psychological First Aid, PFA, using the three principles Look, check that the woman is safe. Listen, ask about the woman's concerns and listen calmly. Link. Help the woman address her basic needs by accessing services for her. Talking therapy. Empathetic counseling. Using reflective and active listening where you repeat back in your own words what's been said. And motivational interviewing where you, in a supportive manner, encourage the woman to talk about her need for change and reasons for wanting a change. Psychoeducation. Increase the woman's knowledge and understanding of her perinatal mental health condition and options for treatment. Explain signs, symptoms, risks, and potential side effects of medication. Where possible, collaboration with the family and the partner is very important to ensure support and avoid stigma and blaming. Trauma-informed care. Ensuring safety, trust, choice, collaboration, empowerment, respect for diversity. Highlight the importance of sleep. 
sleep deprivation has been shown to have negative impact on perinatal mental health. Assess risk for infant and mother by asking questions and making observations that can help identify a risk of self-harm or suicide or harm to the infant. Encourage social networks of support. Medications. Many medications cross the placenta and pass into the breast milk, which could be harmful to the developing fetus and breastfeeding infant. It's therefore important to weigh up the benefits versus the risks. Medications such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers should only be used in settings with specialist supervision and require regular monitoring. Women using medication for a perinatal mental health condition should be under medical supervision. It's important that women do not cease their medication without medical advice, supportive supervision, and follow-up. Caring for the carer. Providing care for women and their families can be stressful for the provider. Emotional exhaustion and burnout is not uncommon. Professional support strategies include debriefing, supervision, and mentoring. Self-care techniques can include healthy lifestyle, exercise, nutritious food, social activities, and adequate sleep. Seek help if you experience feeling overwhelmed and burdened by workload.